Hello and welcome to another OneFlue tutorial. Today I will show you the ramp function. The ramp function is used for a smooth shifting of a proportional hydraulic valve in a big system with a big load. We are using the known puzzle software. Here you see the main screen of this puzzle software. On the left side the input signal then all the internal signals on the device and on the right side the solenoid current which controls the connected hydraulic valve. In the today application I have a command value from 0 or 10 volt. With this command value I can generate the internal signal from 0% or 100%. On the output side I will have 100 milliamps or 900 milliamps. At the moment the ramp function is switched off. You can see that on this red cross here. And if I switch on now my system, I have immediately 100% or immediately 0%. And also on the output side, if I switch on, I have immediately 900 milliamps or immediately 100 milliamps. If we look to the signal recording, the blue one is the input signal, the red one is the output signal. If I switch on, the output signal immediately switched on. If I switch off the input signal, also the output signal goes immediately to zero. This can be dangerous if I have a big load on my system then this can create some pressure peaks on the system which are dangerous because some other components can be damaged with that. I should make this switch on or this switch off smoother and for that I can use the ramp function. I open the ramp generator then I switch on this ramp function and I adjust, for example, a ramp up of 2 seconds and the ramp down of 5 seconds. The ramp up is used if the current will be increased. That means it's a starting ramp. The ramp down is used if the current will decrease, means it's a braking ramp. If I switch on now my system, the input signal still changes immediately to 100 or changes immediately to 0% because here I have no delay. But on the output side, if I switch on, it takes now 2 seconds until the current will be 900 milliamps. If I switch off, it takes 5 seconds until the current will be 100 milliamps. If we look to the signal recording, if I switch on, it takes 2 seconds until I reach the maximum. If I switch off my system, it takes 5 seconds until the current is on 100 milliamps. If we look to our hydraulic motor, again here, if I start, the motor will start smoothly, 2 seconds until he has the full speed. If I switch off, also here he will break down smoothly. It takes 5 seconds until he's down on zero. With that, no, it's no dangerous to become pressure peaks or something like that. We have adapted now our hydraulic components really exactly to the requirements of our system. I can do more adjustments inside this ramp generator. For example, if I have a second solenoid output, I can adjust also here a ramp and these values for this ramp can be different to the values from the first ramp. It must not be the same values. I can also switch off the ramp at any time. Even if I have time values here because I have switched off the ramp, if I look to here, if I change my input signal, the internal signal or also the output signal will have no ramp because the ramp is not active. This switch on and off of the ramp I can do also externally. I can set here to external and here for example select input 4 
Now the input 4 defines is if the ramp is active or if the ramp is not active. You see with this ramp function I'm able to adjust a lot of important things that my system will work in a good way. This ramp function is available on, on all our electronic equipment, ST7 card, DSV electronic, PD2 electronic, and also on the mobile MD2 electronic. If you have more questions, please contact us or see our other interesting tutorials on this channel. Thank you and see you again.